It's starting to look like an igloo. So today we're going to be working on this controller, this AZ20Z uh, controller tech LIC. Okay, you can see that this is no longer working, uh, these frame heaters. So uh, we had a company come in and mass and install these. So I am not a professional at these things. You know, I am not like the guru of these things. I'm just winging it as I go along. I look at the product information. They seem to control it very well. So I'm gonna have to email their company to get more. But let's just reason through this together and try to figure out what's wrong. So the issue is door frame here does not turn it on. So if you look at this, you can see frame, right, black, and then this AS20Z that seems to be representative of this actual thing. So we have this black wire going in and then we have a white wire going in and that's supposed to go to a case. And then we have a gray wire going in and that's supposed to be a dew point. So we have a gray wire, black wire going in the back. This one goes into, I'm guessing the door frame and the gray one goes up there to that dew point sensor so what that sensor does is it senses what the dew point is and then when this surface gets to the dew point temperature the relay activates and turns on these heaters this is supposed to save money so if you look at here we have this white one right it goes into there and we have a gray one now from out of this thing we have red and white we have a heaters on the red and white so one of them the white is neutral and the red I'm guessing is hot okay and then we have this black one that goes into here that's hot. Now if we come over here and we take a look, we can see that this black one comes off a 13 off this terminal block, goes into this controller, and then we have this red one come out, and this red one seems to go to one side of these uh, door frame heaters that go into there, can you see them? So the other side of the door frame heaters are not attached to where they need to go and this white one is also not attached to the actual terminal block because it says that that white one is supposed to connect to the case at least as far as i can tell if you have a hot a red you need a neutral somewhere so we'll figure out how this goes so now if we go to a wiring diagram for this uh you know husband case here we can see that in my opinion, they did this whole thing wrong, but anyway, so you can see that they hooked up to this 13. I think they would have been better if they hooked up to 10, but whatever, they hooked up to 13. So they have a power source, so we're getting in 120, according to this wiring diagram, because we look up there with 120 power feed heading in there. Now, on the other side, we still need to get our neutrals, which is 22 and 21 right according to the wiring diagram neutral see that right there so what we're going to do is we're simply just going to hook it up we're going to hook the white and then we're also going to hook the other side of the heaters that black side up to the 22 and 21 and we're going to see how she runs a bit more we can see that you know 21 through 26 all seem to be uh neutral you can see it says permanent jump on 20 4, 25, 26, fan, anti sweats, neutral. So all of those seem to kind of be, you can see, got a jump, a jump. Actually, that looks like that's a field installed jump. And then that 24 through 25 would be a permanent jump. So we're just going to piggyback off those neutrals. So I ended landing, I ended up landing them on 24 and 22. We see right here, 22, 24, why? Because 26 to 25 are the fan and any sweat neutrals, as we saw, and you can see that there's a jumper in the middle right there that is jumping across between 24 and 22, so that neutral right there. Therefore, that this whole entire lineup, 26, 25, 24, and 22, are all connected together in a neutral. Now we can see that this now has proper power, it didn't before, and it says the relay is engaged. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test power to the heaters, and I'm going to see if it's drawing a current. We got voltage. Now let's see if we have any current. Yep, got some current going through. Now we're going to see if the heaters are heating. RL5 product manual. You can see frame anti spray heaters, about two amps for. 
five doors, so that works out fine. By the way, as always, you get your tag information right there. Husband. RL5. Now let's see. Does it feel warm? It feels better. 53. Let's compare it to the one next to it that's not having any issues. 85. We'll give it a couple minutes. It needs to heat up, I'm guessing. Okay, just really quick, I want to interject this super quick into the video to hopefully just give you a better idea of it. So with these two things that come out of the backside, so we have a black line that comes out. It's actually a temperature probe that sits on the frame itself. And then that gray one that I showed you leads up to this little gray box at the top that's like a, a dew point calculator. So in that, it, it takes the humidity and the temperature of the store and calculates the dew point. And then what it does is it compares it to the temperature of the frame. And if, it, if the frame is below the dew point, this turns on and it puts the power that's coming in on the black and it sends it to the red. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of like maybe clarify that. Maybe hopefully this finds helpful. Anyway, back to the video. I'm gonna have to end the video here because my phone's about to die so I can physically see it's raised 10 degrees. So this is working. I can also see the moisture evaporating off of it. So anyway, that's how you do this thing. Hopefully you learned something. If you know something about these controllers, comment below. They're kind of a mystery. I'm gonna email the company, see if I can get the product information. We'll see how that goes. But anyway, basically what that thing does is that uses this little probe right here, calculates the dew point and it turns on and off. The door frame heated, the anti sweat heaters on the doors, and the door frame heaters. Anyway, wasn't set up right. That's all I got. Um, yeah, hope you learned something. Please like, subscribe, and all that. And that's how you do it.